Hello guys, um, today I would like to show you how to set up the default gateway in the router um, between two LAN connections. Um, because on YouTube there's not much information, I mean there is, but they're pretty old. I just looked on YouTube and there's about YouTube videos from about three years ago and five years ago and the interface of Packet Tracer has changed a lot. Now today I would like to show you how to set up default gateway under LAN connections in plain English. I will explain everything you need to know and how to set this up. Now, I'm not gonna show you how to set this up because it's gonna just gonna take too long. It would take me about half an hour to explain everything step by step now. If you would like me to actually post a video how to set this network up, it's pretty basic. I will actually make a video and what I'm gonna do, I'm not gonna post a video now, I'm just gonna send you in the description. I'm gonna post a link to a Google Drive where you can download this file and check it out for yourself. Clearly, this network consists of two computers per network. Well, overall, four networks, two switches, one router, and two servers. I will show you the configurations of the server and everything else. So, the IP address of the server is static 192.168.10.1. The sub damask is 255.255.255.0. The default gateway is the server address, right? So, 192.168.10.1. Now, what's the default gateway? Default gateway is just your router address. So, in this case, because we're using a server, it's going to be the server address. The DNS server, which is just the, it's going to be the server address. So as you can see, these three things are the DNS server IP addresses, right? If you go to services, DHCP is how to have DHCP set on. As you can see, default gateway, the 192.168.10.1, DNS server the same. And the starting IP is just up to you. Uh, actually, this should be five. Now, the reason this change is actually as if you, if you set it, it's just going to each time you reset the packet tracer is going to change. It's a bit annoying, but we need to deal with it somehow. Well, it actually works for this one. I don't know why, but it doesn't say for this one. Okay, that's fine. Okay, so now before you go and uh, you're going to go to the switch, I'll just show you DNS. Now, if you're using servers and you want basically these two, so if you can, you can send files across to this computer or the switch or whatever, you need to turn DNS and the server on, right? If you set DHCP, which I actually recommend because it's much easier, it's, you're gonna save time, the computers are gonna get all the information automatically. You don't need to do anything apart just from setting the DHCP on, okay, all right? So that's basically it for configuration of the computers. Now we're going to go into the switch. As you can see, I see that I set the IP address to 192.168.10.2. What I like to do is set my device, the main hardware, with like the main IP addresses at the start, so they're reserved, and the computers are a bit further. So if I was to have, for example, five printers, I would usually set them with a specific IP address, and the computers would be a different IP address, like a bit further. So if a printer's 192.168.10.5 I would set the printer at uh, the computer like 192.168.10.20 so there's a bit of space and I know what's what right so now we're going to go to the switch now the switch is a bit of a different story as you can see CLI is a bit different interface now I'm going to show you how to configure it I'm also going to put a wee file of all the commands you need to know. If you don't know, if there's nothing, if something you would like to know and it's not in the file, all you do is just go into Google and you put iOS switch, Cisco switch commands and then it'll show you everything you need to know. So, as you can see, I have a different name. Your switch should say switch or something like that. So first thing you do, you just press, I like to press enter three times so I know what's going on and it's a bit clearer, right? So you press EN or enable, right? Then you need to go configure terminal or conf, conf t for short and you write host name. Host name sh can be whatever you want. I'm just for this case, I'm just going to change it to John Doe, right? As you can see, it changed and it went back to config. So what you need to do, go back to conf t. Sorry, I'm just going to, I can't remember the command exactly. So just go back to, oh, sorry, uh, I was already in the conf t, there we go, conf t, there we go, that's the command, exactly. Now, I'm going to show you some steps, right, how to configure this, right, so just, I'm gonna, just going to change back the switch to whatever it was, so it was switch 
Eh, uh, sorry. Yeah, it will switch west. There we go. Right. Now, we're going to have to set the IP address of this switch to for it to work. Now, we're going to go int VLAN 1 and we're going to put IP address. IP address 192.168.10.2. Oh, sorry. 255.255.255. The subnet mask as well. I keep forgetting it. Okay. So now, this is the IP address. I'll show you in a second how to check everything. And now, since we're here, we're just going to do IP default gateway 192.168.10.1. Now, this is everything set up. And before you actually do anything, your switch, the port of it, VLAN 1 at the, at the bottom is going to be changed. It's not going to work because it's going to say down because the port is shut. So what you need to do is go into config again. I'm pretty sure I need to go, yes, yeah, so I need to go into configure term uh, and VLAN 0 on. Right, and no shot. And now no shot means it opens up the port. As you can see, I just shot it now, and if you go into no shot again, it opens it up, which means there's connection and you can, everything's working, okay? Now, you basically need to do the same thing for the other network. I'm not going to show you because I want to do it to you to do yourself. However, I'm going to show you the settings. So if you need help, you can just follow the video, right? I'll show you quickly. And we're going to go to the router. Router is actually very easy. <clears throat> very easy to set up, right? So you just go to the server. You go to DHCP. Same story. All you do is just change the hosts. To, sorry, the IP address to 20. It needs to be a different IP address. It cannot be the same IP address or it's not going to work. Same story of the computer, DHCP. Same story of the switch. Right? Same story of the switch. Everything's up and working. Right? And now I'm just going to show you. There we go. So basically, what you do is show running config. There we go. Now, as soon as you put the command in, uh, where did I put it? Sorry, I put it here. So as you can see, switch east show running config. Now, bed in configuration, current configuration shows you every version, the password, the encryption and stuff, and the host name and stuff like that, right? Nothing important for you right now. And now to get to do, go down, you need just to press enter or hold enter till it goes at the bottom and it goes back to switch east. Now, it shows you interface VLAN, the IP address, and the IP default gateway. Now, this importance is quite crucial since you just need to check if it's, everything's correct, everything's correct, and we can just shut this down. We can check for the same thing for this, right? Now, you need to make sure that, now I'm gonna show you how to connect these two, right? Now, what you do, I'm just gonna delete the connection, Right, as you can see, I have written FE00, FE01, and the IP addresses. What you do is take copper straight through, switch, just any any port, right? Connect 00. 00 is this fast Ethernet. I'll show you again. Switch, fast Ethernet 04, doesn't matter which port you take from the switch. Router, fast Ethernet 01, because this router only has two ports, right? There's routers with one port, there's two ports, I think there's routers with four ports as well. There's just many, right? Oh, by the way, and the router I'm using is is 18, 1841, this this one, 1841. Make sure you have, make sure you have fast Ethernet 0001, right? Because it's not gonna work with any other. I tried to work with other, it's not really working. Now, if, Basically, if it's not working, make sure you have DNS turned on. If it's not working, delete the server and try that. Try it with just the switch. It's going to work. If you have only two computers, a switch, a router, and uh, basically, yeah. If you have only have four, if, if you have only six devices, not including the server, uh, the router, it's going to work. I've tried it, it's going to work, right? 
to make sure it works with the servers you need to ha have dns turned on or it's not going to work i was trying to get it to work for like 20 minutes and it didn't work so you need to make sure it's turned on dns it's turned on all right i'm just going to show you the ip addresses of interfast ethernet 00 is this and it's this right just make sure that you have it make sure that fast if oh by the end the default gateway needs to be as i said before it needs to be the same right default gateway is what you put here that's the ip address you put here default gateway right you put ip addresses the default gateway is what you put in the at the side of the router right so this is the default gateway of this network and this is the default gateway of this network yeah it's nothing too difficult. This may take you quite a while to get it running, right? So this basically is it. Now, how can we check if it has connection? Or how do we check if something has connection? As I said in earlier videos, we just ping it. So we just use ping 192.110.1 and it'll ping to, there we go. It just sometimes what happens is, it, if you ping again, yeah, there we go. Sometimes what happens is just says request timed out for some reason, I don't know why. So it was just being, it worked a second ago. I'll show you in a second. Yeah, so as you can see, this is the computer from West and I just pinged the server from the computer and it worked, which means it's working. That's my proof it works, right? So let's try, let's try and ping the, comp uh, the switch. It should say request time now and it should give me three pings back or four. There we go, see, it pings the switch. So. It might not work because we've pinged the server and maybe the server is just configured to not accept any pings. Let's try again. There we go, see, four pings now and it works. As you can see, this is the other network. This is the computer we ping it from and we ping the switch. We can ping the computer as well, right? Let's just ping the five. Five is, I think, this one. Why not ping on the first try? As you can see, we're gonna reply back, which means it's working, right? Anyways, I showed you that it does work, right? If you need help, just give me a shout in the comments. I will try and help you as much as I can. What I'm gonna do is I'll write a wee notepad file to for you guys to just check it out and download files from that. Or I might just put up like a, I'll probably go Google Drive since it's the most secure. So if you need any help or you need any explanations, I'll try and help you. Just hit me up in the comments and I'll try and help you. So hope you enjoyed the content. If you need any help, as I said, just tell me in the comments. Thank you. If you can subscribe and leave a comment or like a thumbs up, I guess, and then just let me know if you have any problems.